Hi everyone, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you all, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Thank you all for your donations to Turkey and Syria. They certainly need them um, and they are obviously going to, to really help people in need. So thank you to those people who have donated to uh, Syria and Turkey, earthquake victims. Um, there has been aftershocks there. Uh, it's incredible. And what's happening in New Zealand, I'm seeing images coming up from the cyclone there. They also had an earthquake. Um, the cyclone has just brought devastation. I've never seen anything like it. Whole houses are, you know, covered in silt. Um, <clears throat> previously green fields are just, uh, you know, foot deep mud. Uh, it's it's really quite horrendous. So uh, any New Zealanders who are watching, um, I do want to say that I am um, sending uh, my support uh, in whatever way I can to you. Okay, so today I want to look at a few things. So we've got a lot to get through. I want to look at the Republican Party chart, which is the chart associated when they had their meeting um, I think it's 1854, and they formed the Grand Old Party in Wisconsin. We're going to look at that chart uh, and then have a look how Saturn in Pisces might, uh, tra the move, when Saturn moves into Pisces uh, from Aquarius, how it might impact on them. Because I've got a, a sneaking intuition that um, some things are going to come home to roost for them. I want to say I believe there will be co legal consequences for McCarthy sharing January the 6th security footage with Fox uh, Tucker Carlson. I mean, my jaw just dropped to the floor when I heard that. No way would that have happened uh, in Australia. Now, I don't say that to say, you know, we've got a, uh, a better system than you. What I'm saying is I've never seen or heard anything like it before. So McCarthy sharing that uh, security footage, unreal. Um, I did a reading, I want to say I did a reading on Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, in another forum yesterday. The cards indicated pretty strongly she will be caught up um, in the January 6th uh, special counsel DOJ investigations. So every time she um, bleats like a goodness knows what, like a, a, every time she opens her mouth, um, we can see this could be coming from a place of fear, real fear. I uh, also want to alert you to SCOTUS um, is hearing a case in relation to algorithms and the internet, Section 230 of, of the US Communications Act. I think I'll do a separate reading on that, but it's likely they'll bat it back to Congress for, um, for some action. I did do a reading on the internet a long time ago, and I did feel some sort of regulation was coming forward. But we might leave that for another day. Today, For um, uh, I also want to look, if we've got, got time, uh, at uh, Putin's uh, state of whatever the country address, state of Russia address, that he gave uh, and the new, pulling out of a nuclear treaty, whether or not this is more sabre rattling. I want to point out that I got the distinct impression members of that audience uh, were uh, pretty over it. Um, interesting. Of course, then we had Biden to Ukraine and now the Republican Party, as always, echoing Putin's talking points as if Putin would follow any treaty. He breaks them all the time. But Republicans are politicising and seeing an opportunity to do what they've always done, divide America with Vladimir Putin's help. And when we look at the chart, it comes pretty clear where, uh, where they're coming from. All right, let's uh, get stuck into it. Um, first of all, the Republican uh, Party chart. Um, here we've got uh, 20th of March, 1854 in Ripon, Wisconsin, widely accepted to be the formation of the Republican chart. Let me just move me a bit a bit closer. I think I recorded something where I had cut off my head. <laughs> okay. Whoa, we don't want to do that. Okay. So um, 
The thing that strikes me, and it will strike you too, is that both the sun, well, the sun is on, is zero degrees into Aries in the sixth house, meaning where did it come from? It came from Pisces. What else is there in the sixth house? Our old friend Neptune in Pisces. And I think in the US chart, uh, one of the charts and the founding of the US, I think, Neptune in Pisces might be up in the, your 10th house. So this is very much a reflection of limits. It's It can be in its most positive sense in the sixth house, which is work and public service. It's also health and ill health uh, and daily routines. There is a tremendous uh, potential for the Republican Party to be instrumental in bringing something into form uh, and indeed I think they they did do that in the beginning but there's also the potential for illusion delusion and getting lost in something now the fact that the sun is on the cusp there between the sixth and seventh house 0 0.5 uh in 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 Aries so just in Aries uh, sitting there with Mercury in Aries in the seventh house of partnerships, relationships in Aries, Aries ruled by the, the war god uh, Mars. Um, it's also the first house of identity. Again, uh, the Republican Party had potential to, to be very active in unifying the country at one point um, and and communicating that, communicating new ways. But let's see where they might have gone wrong. The square here is to the uh, moon in Sagittarius. They went wrong in their communication. The third house is primarily the house of communication. With the moon there in Sagittarius, this is emotion. Now, remember, Sagittarius can be incredibly wise. Think a, a Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln. But it can also be stray into the fundamental uh, territory, Christian, national Christian fascism. Think, think fanaticism. Think Opus Dei. Think, you know, something that's taken to the extreme. And Sagittarius is uh, a future-oriented sign uh, so the communication about the future, squaring Neptune and the sun uh, can either be one of introducing us and inspiring us to new visions, or it can be uh, this fanaticism and um, promoting Neptune in Pisces can uh, be, again, about uh, not bringing forward the truth, perhaps bringing forward an illusion. So the moon in Sagittarius, the moon is also associated with the feminine as well. And again, the sun in Aries, feminine battling masculine, sun being uh, the masculine, um, and Aries very much being um, a, a sign where we act. Um, there's always a struggle in the GOP. And I thought, that or I think that is why Trump uh, was able to get in there and exploit this and divide them. Now, the question that I'm going to ask is, is MAGA, which is past looking, which goes against the moon in Sagittarius, the Republic, the potential of the Republican Party, whether or not MAGA is going to break off eventually, because I've done a reading about this before. And again, the timeline is difficult, but I've always seen MAGA breaking off from uh, the GOP. Um, when that might occur, I don't know. When they've been given a, a sound flogging uh, because of the MAGA elements of their party um, and Trump has been given a, well, how many times has he been, uh, you know, beaten, <laughs> lost, loser? <laughs> Many times, but they'll get to a point where they're not going to put up with that uh, because they can't win an election. Um, now, we have here a trying to uh, Mars, again, the detail, Mars in Virgo in the 11th house. Um, I think, you know, when that's positively oriented, I think that um, you can't 
have one like they gain traction with uh, uh, as an opposition party when people are left behind, when the details are glossed over. I've looked at the Dem Democrat Democratic Party chart, and I'll do I'll do something on that as well. But the present danger is the current iteration of the Republican Party. So th there's there's around details. If if Democrats gloss over or don't pay enough attention to the detail to those that are being left behind, the Republican Party is right in there stirring up the emotions. Um, and again, if the Republican Party was positively uh, oriented and you and you know w didn't have such a wound around money, because we'll get to that, um, it could be. Uh, quite a force for um, picking up what, uh, that's how democracies work. If you have a good opposition and a, a, a go and government, you get that democracy being very vital. But let's get on uh, with this reading. And, and also I want to get to how Saturn in Pisces might impact. The square here is to Saturn in, in Taurus and the North Node in Gemini. It's very much their communication that they have a, a lesson in. And it's their communication, their aggress, aggression in perhaps pursuing uh, the big lie. Um, it's very much that that the universe is saying you will have the, where you cause instability, you will have lessons. You will have lessons. Um, we have Uranus and Pluto in the eighth house in Taurus, along with Saturn in that eighth house. Um, there is a, uh, with Pluto, there is a, a trine to uh, Mars in Virgo. So there is this potential at one point, there was a potential for the uh, Republican Party to, to finish something uh, and bring forward something new um, and, and, and really look at that what was hidden and I think that's probably around um uh you know I, I find American politics interesting because uh the Republican Party was once a force under Abraham Lincoln for good um but where did they go wrong we can go down to the fourth house uh and the square to Pluto here <laughs> stability, um, a force for good or a force for not so good. I won't say evil, but we have Jupiter here in Capricorn, expansion of money. Again, uh, you know, I'm not so naive as to think that money hasn't captured all political parties world over, but there was something around an expansion of the Republican Party Sit and it's sitting. Why I think that's a problem is it's sitting right alongside Chiron. Where is the wound? It's in, um, it's in, it's in the money, uh, big moneyed interest, but it's also in their ability, GOP's ability to lead, because the fourth house is about stability and home. So again, uh, you know, it's not that black and white. The Republican Party has, um, at various points in history, uh, probably done. Uh, reasonable good but it's always been prey to the lessons uh, the lessons that it needed to to learn now I do want to uh, come right up here to uh, Venus in the fifth house of self-expression uh, and creativity it's sitting um, not in Aquarius it's sitting in Pisces uh, and so there is there is a lack of boundaries um, I feel with both Neptune and Venus there uh, there's a lack of boundaries in the way that they communicate. Uh, and there's a, a opposition, a very strong opposition here to Mars in Virgo. They have the potential not to bring forward the detail, even though the detail is what they are supposed to be acting on. They have the potential not to do that. Um, and indeed, there's this uh, uh, grand uh, cross here. Uh, between the North Node, well, actually, yes, it is the North Node, uh, and Saturn in Taurus, Mars, and this opposition to Venus in Pisces. It's like when they do the wrong thing, they do lose. And that's why the Democratic Party 
has been so successful. So Republicans have the ability when they are positively um, oriented, unified, um, acting like a real opposition in a democracy, making things better, not worse, when they stra- when they are very careful in the way that they communicate, um, they they could win elections and they have won elections. But again, it's this wound in where in the money. And so the last decades of the Republican Party has, it's leaned more and more to its worst aspects. And Trump came along and saw the opportunity. Um, So they can't win elections with MAGA extremists. They can't legally win elections with MAGA, MAGA extremists. And we've seen that play out over the last few years. Are they are they going to split? Well, first, uh, let's just quickly have a look at the transits. I find um, I find these charts incredibly fascinating, um, and these big planetary uh, movements. Now, what have I done here? Uh, something's gone wrong. Let me get rid of that. And ah, uh, oh, yes, I know what I need to do. Uh, we need to look at this. Okay. All right, just quickly, I just want to concentrate here on Saturn moving uh, into Pisces. Now, Saturn brings structure. Saturn brings uh, boundaries. Saturn brings the taskmaster. You must do the work. Otherwise, I will give you the lessons. Now, it's going to impact immediately on the Venus sitting uh, fairly soon in the Venus sitting um, in Pisces. And the Neptune in Pisces is feeling Saturn coming too because Saturn in Pisces, it will stay there for the next three years. It's a 30-year transitory uh, thing. And Pluto comes along and moves into Aquarius. So the the Republican Party uh, is going to feel these shifts. More and more we will, we, Australia too, uh, but I haven't looked at their chart, but I'm just doing the US chart, the grand old parties chart. Um, more and more uh, the Republicans are going to lose, you know, obviously lose battles in court where there's any sort of um, lying and illusionary type behaviour um, where, you know, the big moneyed influences, why was Russia able to, influence uh, the Republicans uh, so profoundly uh, to which which really was so so um, I don't know uh, unpatriotic to let any foreign country influence you in the way that Russia has uh, oligarchs money the wound down here. <laughs> So Pluto's moving out of uh, Capricorn and into Aquarius. There's accountability coming for the Republican Party and some big events in March, I warrant, that are going to shake up the Republican Party, uh, particularly uh, with Saturn hitting the Venus here in Pisces and it's squaring the details here. So I think there's going to be major moves, major moves, um, for the Republican, uh, against the Republican Party. Uh, there's, it, you know, there's that old saying, the chickens are coming home to roost. They have done, they will do. And over the next three years, you're going to get some weeding out uh, and some uh, boundaries coming back because Saturn can't be toyed with. It's huge, you know, how big Saturn is. The influence is strong. And then Pluto moving into Aquarius is going to hit the fourth the, the fourth house and the and and uh the fourth house being home country um and again remember the north node up there in its communication what have you done so um lessons lessons i see with these big transits and we're going to see some of them in march now let's just uh stop the share and pull some cards uh, on this. Um, so um, consequences for McCarthy. I mean, that is exactly the type of thing 
North Node in communication, sat natal, natal or, or event, event chart, Saturn in Taurus, uh, which is stability. Taurus doesn't like to have its feathers uh, ruffled. Taurus wants stability, security. It corresponds with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, resilience, uh, stable, you know, kind of progress. Um, and then Saturn hitting, uh, hitting their expression. Um, there's something around communication coming and accountability coming uh, for them. And again, also uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene calling for a divorce that was uh, as uh, red states seceding from the union, um, the United States uh, of America. Uh, I was pleased to see the governor of Utah come out and say she's evil. Cox, I think is his name. So there's a there's a real more division than what you think between Maggers and um and and let's just say the older version of the Republican Party. Um so again that wound uh in Chiron, uh good leadership uh around the economy. I mean, all of these things would have would help them win elections, but um no. It's the, the extremists that have, the fan, fanatics that have control at this time. But the uh, Mars in Virgo, uh, the details will always shoot these people down. And this is what we're seeing in the House of Congress right now. As far as they want to push their, um, their illusions, their lies, it's just not working. It's coming back to bite them. So... Um, all right, let's go to let's go to MAGA. Well, a MAGA, I just want to do look at it, this again. Will eventually, um, it's not. I think it's as I said. When there's enough losses, will MAGA eventually break off from the GOP? I think the GOP are going to finish finish them off. They'll do it themselves in the way that they do. So here's we here we've got the lie. <laughs> And we have here the world card endings and beginnings. I, I kind of don't need to to um to say much more because the GOP can't win an election until that happens. So uh, not legally anyway, and that's what the worry is. Is it illegal? Which of course we saw in 2020 attempts thereof. The Sun uh, card um is full illumination of the lie. And we've got the death card in the past. Somehow I think that the events of 2020 already sp spelled the death knell, um, rang the death knell for the Maggers. Um, we just can't see it yet. Well, <laughs> crowning this reading of the Ten of Swords, that's very, uh, that's endings. Um, and you, you've got to wonder when Trump goes down, uh, he might bring that whole People like Marjorie Taylor Greene get caught up in in um, criminal indictments. Uh, we've got the immediate future there. They're they're having a rethink. Um, there's all there's also stuff around stuff around the economy. Again, if they try and push lies, they're not going to be successful. Five of Pentacles uh, loss. <laughs> they're hanging on by their fingernails to the house uh, and that's why they keep George Santos and uh, they want to hope none of their reps are caught up in criminal indictments because I know they will be um, so oh yeah so they're losing they're in a losing cycle because of who because of Trump Trump in in himself just exploited the wounds of the Republican Party now we have the hopes and fears is moderation, the temperance angel. I love this deck. It's the art nouveau, strength on one side. Uh, where is the strength in balance and moderation? Always is the strength. And we have justice. <laughs> when there's enough indictments, as I said, uh, they will um, they will break off. Now we've got um, the three of, so justice coming for those that supported who? The Trump, the Trump sedition attempt, attempted coup. There could be three. I'm just looking at that three, three reps caught up in this. And we get the magician manifestation. You want to be careful what you wish for. Um, 
because ultimately you might get it and the chariot. It looks like um, Americans <laughs> have manifested this justice one way or another because democracy is not just maggots. It's not just Kevin McCarthy giving uh, security footage to Fox. It's it's something else again. It's a very complicated, intricate, intricate uh, product of history and history reforms and uh, law and, um, yeah, it's not easily toppled. So I think that uh, the answer to that question is Magas is struggling and we've got the Queen of Swords, logic, the truth, um, and we've got disappointment and the Tower card. So this is the literally sealing their fate retreat um, when, with the events of January the 6th. Now, uh, McCarthy and his stupidity gave that footage to Tucker Carlson. Now, Fox is struggling in itself. I uh, said that they would lose um, in a previous reading, lose. Uh, well, I think it's the Dominion, Dominion case that, that I read on. Um, even longer ago, I said there would be a breaking up of the Fox uh, network. Interesting. Um, Tucker Carlson and McCarthy, remembering this is perpetual behaviour, perpetuating um, perpetuating behaviour that doesn't in the long run um, work for them or that they can't win. Um it's just when they wake up to whether they can't win, and, and that's when accountability hits. McCarthy, will there be any consequences legal? Will there be any legal consequences for McCarthy sharing security footage with Tucker Carlson? Will there be any legal consequences? What am I seeing here? There's a knight here. So we get uh, the four of pentacles, information uh, that should have been kept under wraps, and we get the Democrats, um, my card for the Democrats. So families, um, the Democrats are sincerely worried about their safety at the Capitol because this was a marauding mob that was very violent uh, on January the 6th, and there are scars and wounds here. Uh, we get the seven of uh, cups here. This again, this um, Venus uh, and Neptune uh, in Pisces. And where did the sun just come from, Pisces? We get the seven of cups here. Which pathway am I going to take? This is again more Trumpian-like energy. In the past, we get the eight of uh, wands. So this is headlines. What they want is headlines in front of the 2024, which again, are going to be not fact, not detail, not the actual detail. So we get the three of cups in the sky. So we get celebration, circles of support, Fox supporting McCarthy. We also have the queen of cups, something coming, uh, being let out of the bag um, concerning, a again, a woman uh, and this is also self-care and, and care for others. This is a, a strong emotions that what he's done is not is not even remotely respond, being responsible for the safety of those in the Congress. He's going to, did he break any laws? Well, I tell you what, he'd walk past and I'm pretty sure Democrats and some Republicans in the House would maybe want to finish him off. Uh, and we get justice. I asked. There's justice here around around his actions. Betrayal in the hopes and fears, loss. And we get the hanged man, uh, suspension. This could even cost him the speakership. And we get the uh, emperor card. Uh, I said, is there, are they going to? They're looking at it right now. Uh, and we get disappointment, but one cup remaining. And the Knight of Swords, I, I think that he's breached some legal and legal uh, stuff here. And I think that the whoever are looking at it very closely. Um, I don't I wonder if Biden's going to get involved. Um, that would be my other and and stop stop this under national security um, measures. I'm just wondering if that's what's going to happen. We've got the Ace of Swords, Clarity, the Truth, and the Magician. 
uh, manifesting something, wish fulfillment. <laughs> oh, dear. Seven of Swords, big lie, January the 6th, wish fulfillment. Um, it's a desperate move on McCarthy's part, part. I think that there are legal ramifications. I wouldn't surprise me if Biden stops Fox from airing this under national security grounds. Um, it's it could end up costing McCarthy his uh, speakership. Um, and well, so it should. Before we uh, leave here, I want to look at Putin and his nuclear threat again. Everybody who, everybody, <laughs> those that consider <clears throat> the uh, bid to stop Putin as futile or not worth the effort, don't understand what Joe Biden is actually doing. Um, Putin <clears throat> needs to be stopped. Ukraine is doing that by laying their lives on the line. And um, Putin is feeding the Republican Party, obviously, talking points. Well, the Republican Party runs on a platform of doing away with Social Security, Medicaid. Um, and, uh, you know... They're obviously following Putin's talking points right now, or the extremist elements are. I have to have to be careful. This is not all Republicans. Um, and um, yeah, I mean the Senate, the senators, Republican senators, don't echo. It's totally different from the House. Don't echo the MAGA uh, Putin talking points. All right, uh, the nuclear threat concerns us all, obviously. <clears throat> more sabre rattling <clears throat> again to divide uh, and score political points against Biden by saying Biden's visit to Ukraine cost, <laughs> you know, cost us out, could, could have provoked a nuclear war. So, again, I say as if Putin ever has ever abided by any treaty invading Ukraine, he was supposed to um, not to do that. <laughs> they gave up their nuclear weapons in return for Russia guaranteeing they wouldn't invade. Okay. Anyone who trusts Putin uh, is equally as mad as what he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's get started here. Putin's nuclear threats. Mm, keep getting a... Um, it's like a beacon and a tower. Uh, he's broadcasting is basically what he's doing. He's broadcasting from his citadel and he's hoping this goes all around the world and uh, promotes those um, who are fatigued from the Ukraine war to stop their giving uh, to Ukraine so that he can just waltz on in and take it. Putin's desperate. All right, so Putin. No wonder Joe Biden went to Ukraine. Show me, Putin, will he uh, cause a nuclear war? Will Putin cause a nuclear war? So we have the Knight of Cups. He was appealing to his devotees. <laughs> he's paranoid and he's also restricted. Uh, many were falling asleep in his address. Um, it was quite ironic. Uh, the Ten of uh, Cups, he's also showing strength to uh, everyday Russians. We've got these nuclear uh, warheads here and we can use them at any time. We have the Queen of Cups in the in the, uh, in the the past here. Who's he communicating? It's a woman. Uh, there's, there's a communication here. Oh, letting something out of the bag. Now we get the Five of Swords, obviously, in the sky. Abuse of power. We know that's what he's doing saber rattling literally but we do we can never underestimate him with that ace of swords um two of cups again contracts commitments he's looking for people for support uh he got out of the contract knight of swords um something around the truth here that we're not seeing Hopes and fears, obviously, he, he wants to be the bringer of death if I don't get my way. Uh, and we see the Pope actually kneeling to the 
this rider on his white horse. Yeah, it's more fear, fear mongering. And we get loss and regret. That's a no card, uh, a five. Um, he's, or as I said in my last reading, he's already lost this war. Now we have here secrets. We have here the high priestess, something that we can't see. And we get the lovers. Um, he does have webs uh, into various opposition parties. Uh, this is around cultivating relationships with the world, but we also have it, you know, something's over. Uh, it doesn't work, basically. It's over. Uh, there's so much regret and loss here that intuitively uh, people don't really want anything to do with him. It's over. Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and here's the Knight of uh, Wands. No, he, he, he's looking for supporters. He's looking to break the nexus of the uh, the alignment between the uh, West. Um, and he's also looking for money right now, money and resources. And if you haven't seen my China-Russia reading, you might want to. All right, that's it for now. Um, fascinating. Um, that's my take on things. Um, all right. Uh, thank you for your support, your likes, your subscriptions to the channel. I'll be back again with another reading soon. Bye for now.